The rules for how to do online advertisement have changed this year and that's why you might have noticed that your ads are getting more expensive and less effective. I know exactly how this feels because I used to run creative teams for big tech companies and I had to deal with this problem every single day. But here's the twist, as I started working with creators, I realized none of them has this problem. Not just that, but actually for the last 10 months, creators have been thriving more than ever before. So I'm here to share these four unique creator skills that none other creative professional has that will blow your brand for free. I like things simple, so imagine this. You're 18 years old, you move out of your parents' house, and now you're on your own, you need to find a place to live. You're broke, you have no money, so what do you do? You buy a house or you rent an apartment. For most people, it was my case, you have to rent an apartment. Cheaper than buying a house, obviously. You get access to an apartment immediately. There's no risk. As long as you pay, you get the apartment and move on with your life. On the other side, buying a house is not a cool experience if you've never done that before. There's a learning curve. It's very expensive. So why do people do that? Well, you buy a house with the idea that at some point, you'll have to stop paying for the place you live in. And even better, the asset might eventually make you money. So why are we talking about this? Well, think of advertisement and content, like renting and buying. There's no option better than other. It just depends on your context. Advertisement is like renting. Pay every month, you get immediately what you wanted. As soon as you stop paying, you stop getting that attention. As a brand, you eventually want to have in your life a good balance between one and the other. So do you want to just do ads for your entire life and pay for attention? every single month or do you want to build an asset that will eventually organically give you views takes more time it's more risky because you don't see the results so quickly but eventually it might pay off this is how i approach content creation which leads to our creator skill number one and probably one of the most important creator skills you can have on your brand attention generation knowing how to generate attention organically and getting people interested in what you have to say is a massive skill in the online world we live in and creators know how to do that it'll boost your views it'll get you more reach and all these beautiful things that all the brands have to pay for the creators are getting for free i'm talking about knowing how to generate hooks tap into the social interest of the moment utilizing trends, and all these things that get people who don't know you yet interested in your stuff. Never in my entire life I've asked or seen in a resume someone saying I'm good at attention generation. And honestly, it's the one thing we had to pay lots of money to Facebook and YouTube and all these platforms to get. So how about hiring someone that can actually provide this as a skill to your business? Creators know how to do that and actually they get paid to do that on a regular basis, learn from them. But even if you're great at hijacking attention, this won't get you too far if you don't know how to retain that attention, which is skill number two. Here's a personal story. During all my years as a creative director, running a creative team, there was one thing that we most of the time focused on, excel at massive one-off campaign. When I look back into those years, I'm like, oh my God, if all that time we would have spent building a community, making content organically, the results would have been so different. People on the creative team don't know the skills of content engagement. They don't know how to retain attention because they don't have platforms that's not what they do. Only creators know how to do that, period. There's no other creative professionals that know how to do that unless they have their own personal brand. This is the most critical thing to consider when making content online and try to get your brand discovered. Retention and viewer satisfaction are actually the metrics that all these platforms care about. YouTube doesn't care about how nice your thumbnail look or how on brand it looks. YouTube only cares about the click-through rate and is people actually clicking and interested in watching this video or not. As a brand or entrepreneur, you should want to understand how to manage engagement from your audience to keep retention high because that will only make the algorithm understand the content is valuable. Like in this case, for example, you watching this video right now so far is actually telling the algorithm that this is valuable stuff. And the more you keep watching, the more the algorithm will like it and push this content to other people. The one thing that the algorithm also will really appreciate is a like. Hit the like button so the algorithm knows that this is valuable content and it'll show it to more people. All right, this all sounds fantastic, but how do I get there? How do I learn all of that? Well, there's one tool that's available for free that is right now probably on this page, analytics. And that's the third skill that every creator knows that none other professional knows how to do. 
understanding analytics and optimizing based on that. You can teach your team of creative professionals what to do for the content to do well on the platform today. But none of this is useful unless they understand how to look at the analytics on their own and actually tweak things and see how those tweaks have an impact or not on the metrics the next time they post. If they don't do this process, they're not gonna create content that performs. This one very obvious thing I have to say was the one thing that made absolutely all the difference between how I run Typeform and how I run Video Ask. If you don't know Typeform Video Ask, those are these two brands from a tech company called Typeform and all they do is online forms. Because Video Ask was such a small team within Typeform, I had to do most of the things on my own and I had Instagram and YouTube and the social platforms that I was posting on on my phone. Regularly, I was looking at performance, I was looking at engagement, retention, reach, all those things and I was able to grow way faster and more efficiently and way cheaper than what I had done with Typeform, having a designer, a copywriter, a social media person, all these people working on just one post. It would have been so powerful if a designer designing carousel would have had the Instagram and being able to check results and see how that did and have the experience of improving the content. All it matters when you're making content is not to get a video to do well, but actually to understand why this video is doing so well. And you only can get there if you have a behavior or skill of learning the analytic, taking action out of that and learning on the process. That's all it takes. It's simple, but you have to do it. Here's the exciting part. Knowing how to understand the performance of your organic content can actually skyrocket the success of your paid ads. Because guess what? What you're doing when you're doing paid ads is only buying attention. And if you send that attention to shit ads and shit creative that nobody wants to watch, you now have underperforming ads, which is what I see 99% of the companies dealing with. It's not that Instagram's shadow banning you because you're a brand or YouTube doesn't want to perform so you have to pay them. It's actually that most brands don't know how to make content. Most brands are making content like in the 2000s, like flashy ads, TV, Super Bowl type shit that nobody wants to watch online. And that's what's happening. It's not the platform, it's the content that's not working. Even if you have all these great ideas, if you don't package them in a way that people want to watch, you don't earn the right to talk. Thumbnails, titles, your first frame on a TikTok, all of those things we can talk about in this channel are super important. And this is creator skill number four that you need for your brand. Packaging is one of the skills that matter the most in today's world of discovery-based algorithm. If you look at the analytics of your content, you'll see most of people watching your content today is not the people who are following you. I'll say that again, because most people don't realize. Most people watching your content today are not the people who follow you. It started with TikTok, the For You page. Yes, you have followers on TikTok, but your content will 80% be distributed to people who don't follow you. That's why people and brands can grow so fast on TikTok because it's based on a discovery algorithm, which means that the algorithm is smart enough to process your content and try to figure out who will get the most out of it because that's all they want. They just want people to watch the content. So if the content's good and it's well packaged, it'll serve it to people who can watch it regardless if they're following you or not. Why is this important? Because you can have the best video, the best idea. You can put a lot of time in your stuff. But if you don't package right, people will just scroll through it. If your thumbnail and title on YouTube are not designed for discovery, meaning getting people excited about watching that versus SEO optimization, long titles that look like a sausage, you're not gonna grow as fast as you could. If Eric or Mr. Beast are growing at this exponential rate, is because they create the content for the people who don't know them yet. That's why they grow. That's all it is. Let me show you some stats from my own content. 30% of the people who've watched my videos, only 30% have subscribed to my channel. The rest, the 70% are not subscribed, actually makes me think that I have a confession to make. I left the corporate world of big tech companies, high paying salaries, director roles, because I wanted to change something. That's why I have this YouTube channel, actually. I am trying to get rid of traditional advertisements. Self-centered, interrupting, boring, nasty, fake ads that nobody wants, that we're pushing into people. It's not doing good for anyone. It's not good for you when you're watching because it doesn't provide a good watching experience and it's definitely not good for you as a brand running those ads. Embrace good narratives, embrace creator content. So if you're in with that mission, all I ask 
is that you smash that subscribe button to prove that there's a better way to advertise. Now, here's the exciting part. Applying some of the creator skills that you and I have been talking about here today, at a beginner level, I was able to get one video go viral on TikTok, getting over 2 million views with, hear that, 179 followers. Not thousands, 179 period. That's a small win that I know you want for your brand. And that can be a beginning of many great things happening for your business. The thing is, what if you don't have time to learn and master these creator skills? What if you don't know how to work with a creator yet? How do you get more views then? Well, watch this video next where I'll tell you the simple strategy I used to get that TikTok video blow up with over 2 million views with just investing a couple of hours a week in content creation. And yeah, just watch it. Nothing else to see here.